ROI is the gain an investor receives from making an investment. The formula for ROI can be either the net income divided by the cost of the investment, which is an annual form of return on investment, or it can be equal to the total investment gain divided by the original investment cost base. Let's look at some examples. Imagine an investor buys a property for 500000 Two years later, it sells the property for 700000 So its gain is 200000 That equates to an ROI of 40%. Now let's look at annualized ROI. One of the drawbacks, as you saw in the previous example, was that the investor held a property for two years and got an ROI of 40%, but we often like to think of return in annual figures. So we can calculate an annualized return on investment. We take the ending value divided by the beginning value and raise it to the power of one divided by the number of years. This is the same thing as a compound annual growth rate. Let's look at an example. Imagine that an investor bought a stock in January of 2017 and sold it in August of 2017. The investor has a gain, but it held this investment for less than a year. So the regular ROI is 21.6%. But since it only held it for a little more than half of a year, the annualized ROI, if it were to continue to earn the same rate of return over an entire year, would be 35.5%. So it's important to look at both the regular or total return on investment and the annualized return on investment to properly assess the overall quality of return on investment. An alternative metric to return on investment is the internal rate of return or IRR, which is discussed extensively in CFI's business valuation modeling courses.